beams basically tie the tops of the frames together and support the deck. So we call them deck beams. So at the moment we're, we're picking out the bulk of the timber for the deck. Between deck in Sabre will be primarily for cargo. So our number one concern was strength. We're pretty much using all hardwoods, eight by eight inches, where with larger beams around the cargo hatches and bulkheads at 10 by eight. We're using a range of tropical hardwoods. We have Sinicero, Mora, Wapinol, Tamarindo, Loro Negro, and Guayaquil. The Wapinol and the Cedro are uh, super rot resistant. So we're trying to save as much as we can for the top deck, the weather deck essentially. There's a few different methods for how you actually draw the camber and come up with it. There's a mathematical method. There's a method where you use straight edges, a mechanical method. And then there's also a formula that you can use. So, from the mathematical method, I figured out that the radius of this circle is about 400 feet. So there was no way that you could draw it using a compass. <laughs> we ended up using the formula. Uh, it's quite simple, you just plug in your camber, however many inches that is. The longest uh, main deck beam is 24.2 feet and that is cambered. I think we used about five and a half inches. And then yeah, you just divide that space up, plug the numbers into the formula, measure it out, and then just spring a baton and you have your camber. Ripping 10 or 8 inches of tropical hardwood isn't easy. So we designed and fabricated a giant circular saw that runs on a four-stroke petrol engine. Shoutouts to Yurun. circular saw. She has a, a wood miser engine. We got it from our wood miser right over there. Um, 12 horsepower uh, and we use it to cut uh, planks. So uh, we use an eight inch blade and we can cut planks for the ship. Uh, the huge advantage of this is that it's portable. So it has this cart that it goes on. 
we call it the Mali saw because we used a old Mali oil drum to make the guide out of, and we left the Mali, not painted. We used a motorcycle, old motorcycle exhaust for the exhaust. This here is the uh, brake system and the tension system. So when we put it this way, it stops the saw because the saw blade goes here. And you push this forward and it puts a piece of rubber on this aluminum and it stops it. And then when you pull it back, uh, you can lock it and it holds the blade, it holds the belt tensioned so that the uh, saw, the saw runs. It only takes two people to operate and then we can bring it to wherever the wood is. So it doesn't matter where on the yard the wood is, we can just push it in this cart, set it down and roll it across the wood. And cut it. Bunch of decks on this boat. Um, we have the main deck, we have the forward deck, we have the poop deck, we have the cargo hold. The cargo hold deck beams are straight, and all of the main deck beams, the weather deck, are cambered. Twain deck, which is the lower cargo deck. This is the top deck. These are all straight, but the top deck beams that will have a camber. 